Looking around in today's world, it would be hard to find somebody without a phone on them. We carry them around everywhere and they have become a part of our daily lives. People use their phones every chance they get. More often than not, it's for using social media. Every day, every hour, every minute, and every second, social media is used around the world. Looking at Twitter alone, 350,000 tweets are tweeted per minute. That means 6,000 tweets per second. The increase in social media usage has a lot of platform for people, mainly teenagers, to criticize others in a negative way. This increase in negative behavior is what we now know as cyberbullying. With bullying already being a problem in society, cyberbullying allows this behavior to be around the clock at any time of the day. It never stops. Cyberbullying is the use of technology to harass, threaten, embarrass, or target another person. Online threats in mean, aggressive, or rude texts, tweets, posts, or messages all count. This also includes posting personal information, pictures, or videos designed to hurt or embarrass someone else. With the increasing social media platforms, cyberbullying is an epidemic in society, especially in students. With internet use, time quickly adds up. If we extend the daily average time across all 3.484 billion people using social media today, we get a combined total of almost 330 million years of human time spent on social media platforms during the course of 2019. To break it down, 90.4% of millennials, 77.5% of Generation X, and 48.2% of baby boomers are active social media users. About 37% of young people between the ages of 12 and 17 have been bullied online, and 30% have had it happen more than once. Girls are more likely than boys to be both victims and perpetrators of cyberbullying. 15% of teen girls have been the target of at least four different kinds of abusive online behaviors, compared with 6% of boys. Many social media platforms have been reported as a source of where cyberbullying occurs. 42% comes from Instagram, 37% from Facebook, 31% from Snapchat, 12% from WhatsApp, 10% from YouTube, and another 9% from Twitter. Cyberbullying can result in serious emotional problems for targets, including anxiety, low self-esteem, depression, stress, and suicide ideation. Online abuse and suicidal thoughts are directly interconnected. 24% have contemplated suicide after continuous cyberbullying. It's 24-7. Targets of cyberbullying often feel like they can't escape the bullying. If someone is bullying you at school, it's over when you leave for the day. But cyberbullying can follow you home and continue all night. There are no federal laws that specifically address bullying. However, bullying may overlap with discrimination, harassment, or hate crimes if it is based on race, national origin, color, sex, age, disability, or religion. So if that overlap occurs, federally funded schools at all levels must address and resolve the harassment. In fact, Officer Brooks told us, unless a student breaks a penal code law, the police do not get involved. We get involved in specific threat cases which violated PC-422. It has to be a very, very specific threat. Unfortunately, only one in 10 teen victims will inform a parent or trusted adult of their abuse. Over 160,000 kids refuse to go to school each day for fear of being bullied. Over 10% of students who drop out of school do so due to being bullied repeatedly. How often do you use social media? Um, every day. Daily? Uh, daily basis. Yeah, same. Every day. Yeah, every day. 24-7. <laughs> every day. Every day. Uh, every day. Do you think bullying has increased due to social media platforms? No, I think it's just people have somewhere they can say it now all the time. Absolutely. I think it has, in a sense. I think the biggest issue is people compare their lives to like others and no one really shows like they only show the good parts yeah i agree um i think it evolved i don't know if it increased necessarily but it definitely evolved i think more people are aware about it now yeah. too so. yeah it has yeah you know because like people see other people's posts and stories and they're like oh like she ugly or yeah, he yeah, ugly yeah. like bro. especially like with tiktok coming out like oh, everyone's just making fun of everyone yeah, everybody. like yeah. for real uh, no. Yeah. Yes. Have you or anyone you know been cyberbullied? Yeah. Yes. I haven't personally. Um, no. 
Oh hell yeah! I've been cyberbullied. I've cyberbullied. Yeah, you know, it's, just, yeah. It, it, it's, it's just, just everything. It's a system, bro. It yeah. Goes back and forth. Perfect. It's like the circle of life. It's like the Lion King. Yes. I don't think so. Just because, like my age, I haven't really dealt with that. Um, and my, I have daughters, but they're too young for that still. So I think with my age grouping, I haven't really noticed that. Our professional interview is with Lisa Brooks, a 7th and 8th grade math teacher from La Paz Intermediate School. She will be sharing her views on cyberbullying. So at our school, we utilize um, a program called text to tip which is an anonymous um, text app that the kids can use, send in um, any social media bullying that they're experiencing. Um, text a tip goes to the assistant principal and it goes to the Orange County Sheriff's Department. Um, from there, then the assistant principal and the Orange County Sheriff's Department decide whether it needs to be investigated more and who needs to do the investigating, whether it's a school matter or it's a little bit more serious and the sheriff needs to get involved. Absolutely. Um, I mean, everyone's kind of heard in the in the news and in the media that um, the easiest way to bully somebody is when you're not face to face with them. Um, it's very easy to hide behind um, a keyboard, a screen, and to say things that we probably wouldn't say to other people if we were face to face with them. I don't know, you might be surprised by my answer. My answer is actually no. I don't think that schools should do that. Um, I think schools today have a lot to do between educating students, looking out for their safety and well-being and their emotional health. So I really think it still falls back on the parents. Yeah. I would say it's definitely epidemic. I actually have a friend whose husband who was cyberbullied, mm -hmm. um, and then to see people come after him and, uh, using social media was, I don't know, surprising and kind of saddening. Since technology has become our main source of communication, cyberbullying continues to increase and hinder people in our society, especially in the younger generations. Everyone runs into mean, negative people at some point in their life, so bullying is almost inevitable. Now, these people can simply hide behind a screen and say whatever they want without even having to look their victim in the eyes. Our world is cruel enough as it is, so the fact that so many people cannot escape this bullying to the point of wanting to harm themselves and even contemplate suicide is devastating. Therefore, we can say, without a doubt, that cyberbullying is a detrimental epidemic in our society which needs to stop. If you or someone else you know is being cyberbullied, please contact the hotlines on the screen.